Thank you for joining us. This tutorial will cover routing the PCB. First, let's change some colors in the design to make it easier to see. Select the color button from the toolbar, click off all, and click to activate the top layer. Select the net tab, assign purple to 3.3 volts and blue to ground by selecting the color, then the net. Click OK. Next, fan out the power and ground traces. Select Route, Create, Fan Out. In the Find tab, select All On. In the Options tab, change the via direction to Outward. Click the components with both pins connected to either ground or power. In the Find tab, uncheck Symbols and find only pins. Fan out the remainder of the ground and power pins. Right-click and select Done. Some of the traces on the IC have DRC errors. To remove these errors, adjust the vias. Select Setup Application Mode Etch Edit from the menu. Click to drag and move the via. The width of the trace is a little large for these pins. Select Edit Change Objects from the menu. In the Options tab, check Line Width and enter 0.28 for the width. Click on the traces to change the width. The DRC errors are now resolved. Right click and select Done. In the Design Workflow, select Interconnect, Manual Routing, Add Connect. Connect the power traces on U1. Click to place the trace. Next, route the differential pair. Click on one of the traces for the differential pair. They will be routed together. Finish routing the board. Try to make as many straight connections as possible. In the Options tab, you have additional settings for routing. View the active net here. You also have the ability to set the angle and change a line width at the beginning of a trace or at any point while routing. You can choose to shove or hug a trace, shove vias, smooth traces, and auto blank all other rats. I will not be adding any vias for routing, but if you need to for your design, just right click and add via at any point during the trace. If you make a mistake while routing, right click and select Oops. Don't worry too much right now about making these traces perfect since they can be easily cleaned up after routing is complete. To clean up traces, select Route Custom Smooth from the menu. Click on the trace you would like to smooth or highlight a selection and PCB Editor will automatically smooth the trace. Select Route Slide from the menu. Click on the segment you would like to slide and click to place. In the Design Workflow, select Utilities, Display Status to ensure all the nets are routed in the design. This completes the routing of the board. Join us in the next video where we will go over the design rule check.